it's Captain Incredible. I'm here on the internet again because we're going to make something new. Another time of making. Brilliant. Today, what we're going to make is an installation, a very small installation for a museum, a microbeat orchestra installation, which is made so that the kids can program their little micro bits and push buttons and make all the make the installation make music. They can learn music, holding electronics. It's brilliant. Um, but the museum in Ors, near near where I live, they wanted a very small one for a, for a kind of festival uh, that they want to keep afterwards. So I thought, because it's going to be very small, I want to try and combine a few different kind of ideas that I've made in the previous installations and make a bit of a kind of very small installation that has all the bits from bigger installations, basically, if you get my drift. So what I'll be making, I reckon, is a, a kind of a, a frame, like the other frames, that has like a few uh, CMOS, like... Uh, 40106 hex schmidt trigger inverter kind of oscillator thingies on little breadboards and we'll also have uh, some kitchen things like bowls and maybe a plate and maybe a colander and some uh, electromagnet actuator arms that kind of bang on those things at least those two things and then and that's kind of going to be in one box and then I think maybe I'll make a uh, another like even smaller module that is maybe off to the side or that kind of you know interacts I've not got I've not thought that far yet but I want to want to have one kind of medium big panel and then I want to be able to build another very small panel during the festival when this is going to be kind of install installed and you know the opening and all that kind of stuff that's the plan uh, so let's get started. So I've had a bit of a think about what I want to make and I've drawn most of the layout here uh, in my CAD, which stands for Computer Aided Design. It's a little green dot there. We don't want that. Delete that. There's going to be a speaker there, a micro bit there. This is going to blink lights. And in these squares, we're going to have uh, four breadboards that are going to make some cool noises. On the other side, over here, I'm going to be putting all kinds of bowls and crap and tins and electromagnets, solenoids, robot things that just bang things. Things that go bang, basically. All right. I've slapped it in light burn and I've done a bit of drawing and you can see there's like different colors here but you know the laser doesn't laser colors does it it just burns wood basically so uh, these different colors represent the different amounts of burning the wood here's what it might actually look like let's send it to the laser that's the next thing to do send it's sent Here's my laser! Let's have a look inside! Let's have a closer look! Now we just need to make the frame and before we make the frame we're gonna have to make some planks to make the frame with because I haven't got any planks but I've got some 16 millimeter poplar stuff. <laughs> Thank you. 
Time to solder together some parts. Next, that's what it's time for. Firing it up! Put all the wires in. Uh, here they are. There's a wire. Here's a long wire. That wire is red. They're all there. You can check if you want to. Here's a thing that I want the thing to hit. Here's some holder thingies I made for the wine glasses out of uh, laser cut acrylic. Time to program the micro bit. That. Here's the code. It's very exciting. What does the code do, Daniel? Don't worry, I'll explain it in excruciating detail. Basically, it just listens for a radio message with its name, which is actually uh, Tim. And if it receives a radio message with its name, it basically just goes down here and it does some stuff with all this code. It actuates whatever thingy the radio message tells it that it's supposed to actuate. So all we need to do now is click download. Not with real nails though, I I used screws and glue. But the important part is that it works. I added a magical hole as well to make it easier to add another small module thingy when I'm installing it at the museum during the festival. Uh, yeah. 
about that festival. Uh, it was cancelled, of course, due to the current epidemiological state of affairs. Uh, so that'll have to wait till later, hopefully. Don't worry though, I've got lots of other exciting things to build. I want to say a huge thanks to all the patrons that have helped support me, because that really helps. And don't forget to obliterate the like button. Good luck with all the liking and subscribing. Goodbye! Okay,